What's up everybody? It's your boy Mr. No. I'm back. It's been a little minute. Had a lot going on. Shot my first music video. Did my first little commercial. Hell, I was even sick for a little minute. I got a crazy couple things on today's little episode. Jamel Hill got fired and somebody ran up on Jay-Z and them at a little concert. But until then, go on, hit me with my intro. right on back it's your first time coming on through here go on, hit that subscribe button up underneath hit that bell for your boy if you like it go on, give me a thumbs up we're gonna go on, jump this thing on off here some of y'all ain't heard of your boy Hi Hi Davis. Hey, y'all need to go check his little page out. He's always got some funny little stuff on there. He usually does a couple of things where he says, first time going to jail. So, on this first video I got for you, he says, when it's your girl's first time visiting you in jail. I'm gonna go and hit you with that. Okay, first time seeing my girl in jail, this finna be a breeze. Hey, baby, what's, what's up? up? Baby? Good How good you doing? You. Nice to see you too. Oh, freak, freak, freaky. Hey. Okay. Tell your girl, come meet Uncle Earl. What? What you mean, what? Show me that butt. Listen, this is beyond me. Girl! Big fella, she might be your lady, but you my baby. Oh, well, you can have her. Keep the cat. Hey. Turn around before I can hit it from the back. Girl! You dress like a wizard, now come get this lizard. Okay, girl, baby, handle that. Oh, baby, right? handle that. Girl! Knock it off, she can't do shit okay, for me. Jay. I'm horny. Listen, I'm just here with my... Girl. Big fella, fuck your girl. She can watch. Come get these back shots. Yeah, my girl. Come get work. This is bad. Tell me here, freak, freak, freaky. Get over here. Girl. Your man is my man. I don't know why he playing. Come toot that ass up. I'm blown away. Baby girl, get out of the cell. Because your man is going to go to Whoa. hell. Toot that ass. <laughs> Woo. Too funny, too funny. Yo, if you get a chance, go and check my man's YouTube page at Ha Ha Davis. Next up for the next funny video, uh, you know how we are as humans. We like to show off with the bikes, uh, with our cars. It's just in us to show off. So with my next video here, got a couple folks that feel like they just need to show off, but it uh, usually doesn't end up too well. Let me go and hit that for you, all right? Yeah. <laughs> They put it in slow mo for me, man. I'm trying to. Here's that one rough rider that didn't make it in the crew. That's it. He just rides bikes on the weekend. This ain't nothing he did for us. Ooh, right on into the mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nah, bro. He plays himself at first with that bright ass green bike. Is that what this just is? It's just burnouts and sad things. Oh, oh, into the pool. Just look at the amount of people. I mean, just look. I mean, yeah, see, like, this mess made me not even want to get it back. Ooh. I just ain't no gun. Why ain't y'all, ooh, why ain't none of y'all got helmets on? Uh, our people. Uh, okay, it's back to another burnout. Y'all people stop with these burnouts. You see what this ain't? This ain't working out too well for some of these folks. <laughs> Bruh, what? What are you doing? Uh, we to the cars now. Oh, oh, oh! It's always cats with Mustangs, man. A Mustang here's another Mustang. What's up with y'all? You always got to show out. You don't have to show out all the time. If this is any little reminder seeing all these people on these videos, hey, it pays not to show out sometimes. All right, let's keep things on moving. It's a little sad day in the sports world. For some people who hadn't known, ESPN has decided to fire anchor woman Jamel Hill because she refused to take a pay cut. Uh, for some of y'all who don't know who Jamel Hill is, she had a show with Michael Smith a while back on ESPN2. Uh, well, it actually started with a podcast. Then it went to, uh, what was it, uh, Numbers Never Lie. And then it also went to, they changed it to His and Hers. 
But after that, they end up getting a spot on regular ESPN called a show called In the Six or something like that. Anyway, long story short, uh, Jamel had put out a couple tweets, you know, that had been kind of controversial. You know, this wasn't her first time. She had done one a while back, talk about Adolf Hitler with the Boston Celtics, and then she had done some last year about Uncle Trump, and you know, ESPN just uh, really wasn't feeling that too much, so they pretty much got her up off the show at 6 o'clock and then moved her to something called The Undefeated, it was pretty much just like their web-based series, so pretty much I guess they felt the need that she needed to take a pay cut since we moved Joan down. She signed a deal for four years for $10 million. $10 million of them things. So I feel like, no, I ain't taking no pay cut. Telling y'all feelings. This ain't on me. This on y'all. So for some reason, they took upon themselves to fire this woman. Now, I don't know who's up in the, uh, you know, the legal department, but y'all still going to have to pay this woman. Jamel, keep your head up, man. You know, it's always going to be some fuckery. And, hey, just look at Fox Sports 1. Hey, if Skip can get a job up there, I'm sure they're going to be trying to knock down those to get you up in there because this woman definitely knows what she's talking about all the time. So keep your head up, Jamel. Now ain't worry about them haters. Let them be your motivators. And we got that next video coming up. We're going to keep this party going. I know I usually do, like, hater of the week and real low G of the week, but this time we're going to do dummies of the week because there was a concert with your girl Bay and Jay-Z and apparently a fan was feeling uh got some of that liquid courage in him felt the need to roll up on stage take a couple a couple swings at Jay-Z there but the, the dummies of the week are his security team because like how does he let one person just get on stage and just beeline I'm talking about he beeline straight through now I'm just gonna put the video out up for y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about now beeline they go straight to the back now everybody finally realized like oh nah there's some BS here I'm talking about they swinging and I'm talking about getting it right now the security probably didn't been up on them. It's probably a little too late now. Mm. Y'all have one job. You have one job to do. Mm -hmm. Damn ATL. Damn ATL. They probably ain't ever come back fuck with y'all in ATL. Never again in life. They fucked up the whole, you know, they probably didn't shut the damn thing down right there. They ain't swarmed on them now, though. I ain't trying to cut all the lights out. They don't want everybody to see. It's too late. Everybody got cell phones out. Yeah, so. Where otherwise, just stay off stage, man. You probably won't go home with so many knots on your head, and you probably won't have to worry about going. Now we're moving right on along to that real OG of the week. All real OG of the week goes to your boy, Drizzy Drake from up north. For a lot of y'all that didn't know, he went and canceled a concert to visit a little girl who was needing a heart transplant. Her name was Sophia Sanchez. She had done the In My Feelings channels, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have probably either tried or laughed at other people doing this song. But the little video got 190,000 views. So what your boy Drizzy did is he canceled, canceled his concert on her birthday. Went and visited this little girl to just make her whole day, man. So, like, shout out to that boy Drake for making this little girl. I'm pretty sure that just probably brightness. He probably put her on probably the moon, man. So, I mean, you can't knock somebody that really wants to give back, you know, show these kids some love. Like, we gonna go on and keep these things moving before I get on about it here. I got one last little video of your boy Alfonso Ribeiro. For some of y'all that might not know or been living on a rock or just a little kid, a uh, cat named Alfonso Ribeiro, he was an actor. He was really known for doing the Carlton dance on Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He was also on the show called In House and he had done a couple other things. But I just seen Brother did an ad in 85, actually 18 days before my birthday. Shout out to my Scorpio. Anyway, for about popping and locking, let me, let, let me go and put this up there for y'all because it's pretty fun. Let me hit that for y'all, right? Yeah. Telmac presents oh, Alfonso Ribeiro. Hi. You know, I wasn't born a dancer. Born a dancer. 
I learned to do it with a lot of help. And with my help, you yeah, can learn too. MJ Jagger, of course, like of course the moonwalk. Moon. Oh, okay, okay. Or the King Tut. The King Tut. It's all right here in the breaking and popping book. And the popping book. Off of a hundred pages to. that everybody simply and clearly take you through the moves. In a few minutes, you could be doing backspins that will flip out your friends, or eye popping moves like the centipede. My step-by-step -step guide starts with the basics, all ages, but takes you all the way to tough moves like the wind. No grandma, grandpa doing it again, yeah. It's all right here, my easy-to-follow book. <laughs> and tell mom and dad it's the safe way to break and pop, not okay, the things you shouldn't try. With my book comes a fold-out breaking book, break carried around to give you a, a huge you know 65 by 70 safe dancing area anyway. You know Can you rap? Well, there's even a full like rap sheet included. Plus, this instruction post to the hang on the wall with even more breaking and popping moves. More breaking yep, you get my moves. book. Fold up breaking board, rap sheet, and instruction post. Plus, you get moves. the right kind of music. Rap it up. If you like volume one, volume two is radical. Yeah, you get my breaking and popping book, the rap sheet, instruction poster, a full book, breaking board, plus a double poster? album rapid deck, all for under 20 bucks. 20 bucks man. Alfonso's Ooh, right, only yeah, 1999. CO, no Due to incredible CODs, demand, COD sir. orders are impossible. You know, for credit card orders, call 1 800 453 8500 or send 1999 plus $3 guessing. shipping and handling to Breaking and Poppin', 443 West 50th Street, Street New York. Alfonso's offer is great for all ages. Have your mom or dad order one now. Woo. Well, that's another episode gone. Appreciate y'all coming back on through here. I know it's been a little hot minute, man, but you know, you know how life does it, man. So you just gotta keep them positive vibes going. Appreciate y'all kicking the wheels for episode seven. Like I said, you like to hit that subscribe button. Hey, hit the bell for your boy. Give me some thumbs up. And yeah, I'm gonna be right on back for episode eight. And I'm out. In a club.